East Coast and everything in between, folks. You are live with Lyle for, for real this time uh, in Dusty Vision, right? It's, it's, a two, it's a Tuesday evening, folks. And uh, we just chimed in. And uh, come on with it, folks. Come on with it. Yeah, yeah. So um, just to update everybody real quick, he was talking about um, his book. You could purchase. He's going to have a, a, a like an online signing party June 16th. So make sure you guys put that on your calendar. Not without Alonzo. The book is dope. You guys definitely, if you're a hip hop nerd, you guys will definitely enjoy this book. So make sure you put that on your thing. We're gonna we'll, we'll do a little promotion for it too. You know, a couple weeks leading up to yeah, it. Yeah, we definitely would. Now the one thing I can't do. Oh, you know what though? Hmm. I got a special thing I'm looking at, Doc, because um, I did two audio books. Mm -hmm. I did one that's set to music, all original music, and another mm -hmm. one that because uh, I submitted it to uh, CD Baby, and CD Baby stopped selling it because they don't do that no more. They don't do the physical mm -hmm. product anymore. So now I, had, I submitted another one to Amazon. And Amazon has me up. I, you can buy my audio book on Amazon with no music. But I, the one with the music on it is so dope, I don't want to throw it away. So I'm gonna probably, I'm thinking about getting 100 of those made on jump drives. Okay. okay. I'm going to get 100 of those made on jump drives so that folks can buy those. And I, I might make that a part of the, uh, if I can get them in time for the, for the 16th, I'll uh, make that a part of the deal. So you can buy the audio book. I can sign the audio book. The whole, I can sign the audio book. And and or could uh, and or the um, the jump drive as well. It'll, it'll mm -hmm. look just like so. Yeah, I, I'm working, I got I got a little project to work on. Okay. Yeah, nice, nice. Yeah, I'll def we'll definitely brainstorm. I'd love to help out with that. Um, all right, second question, and then we'll move on to this week's co topics that we didn't get to get to last week. Uh, take yourself out of the picture. Which one did you like better, Pox movie or at the NWA movie? NWA movie. I couldn't stand mm -hmm. Pox movie. Mm -hmm. Why, tell, talk, talk to me. I didn't really care for it either. Yeah, man. Um, I was watching it. Uh, me and Atrian, uh, we was at the. I went to the theater with him. We saw a top Pox movie, and it was a big, you know, big deal. And uh, I was totally disappointed in the production, mm -hmm. the storyline, everything. Yeah. It just wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't deserving of Pac. Okay, mm -hmm. Pac was a bad boy. Pac was a bad boy. Jim and I are not. He was a bad boy. And uh, they just focused on the wrong things, I think. Man, the brother had a good heart. Uh, he was a gangster for sure. He was, he, he was a gangster, but he, he had a good heart. He's Of all the gangsters I've, I've ever known to make a record, he was the only one that ever um, made a love song. Dear Mama, yeah. uh, Brenda got a baby. He's the only one that showed any love for ladies whatsoever. So I got to show him, I got none but love from him from that, from that aspect. And uh, but I just didn't think, man, that that um, that uh, Tupac movie was good at all. It's like it should have been a straight to DVD project or something, man. Yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah, I don't know if you saw this one, but it's not as bad as the Biggie movie. That was just trash. I don't know if you saw that one, but yeah, I did. I was, they got a couple of Biggie movies, don't they? Yeah, yeah, and I think the same dude. Like that's the only <laughs> Biggie look like in Hollywood. Yeah, I think yeah, yeah. Cat. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> And yeah, no, nah, man, neither one of the Biggie movies. I, you know, when I see Tupac, yeah. All Eyes on Me, uh, or even the Biggie movie, I just keep right on going. I watch Frasier or something, man. I ain't watch Yeah. Well, let me ask you, since before we jump, because we're talking hip hop movies, and one of my favorite hip hop movies is one that, you know, may not be on a lot of people's list, but there is a connection to Alonzo. So I would love to ask you about your thoughts uh, on Eight Mile. Obviously, being a Dr. Dre protege, Eminem. Um, did Did you like that movie? Eight Mile was dope. Was all I yeah, I, I like that Eight movie. Eight Mile right? was dope. Okay. Yeah. Eight Mile had a good storyline, uh, and Eminem's not a bad actor, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's not a bad actor. They had some good people to you know, surround him with, and uh, Mikhail, Mikhail Pfeiffer and uh, some other folks. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was a good movie with a good storyline. And the cold part about it was. He never in the movie. It, it he didn't let his stardom, his local stardom, go to his head. He went back to work. Mm -hmm. You know, he sure did. He went back yeah. to work. Okay, yeah. I like how. Yeah, I like how that ended. Yeah, 